working from home today and tomorrow and I haven't done a what I've eaten in a day type video in a while so I thought I'd show you guys what I'm eating today and tomorrow. Um, some of it will be low carb, maybe keto and some of it won't be because it's Christmas time I like to have a little bit of a treat, make it all Christmassy, so does Imogen and I'll show you what Imogen's eating. Um, we haven't been very well recently, we've had like colds I want to say when we've had like really bad coughs which Dan's brought back into the house, probably from work. So Imogen's a bit off her food, so she might not eat some of the food I give her. I might have to compromise and give her some little snacky things if she's not willing to eat meals. But today, for breakfast, I really fancy something savoury. I'm not going to work out till later on. I haven't worked out for a week, so it feels like ages. So I need a high-fat, low-carb meal because I follow the Body Coach app uh, thing that he has. So today, I'll show you what I'm having. So I do need to go to my kitchen, but I'm going to do some tomatoes. I've got some mushrooms under here, and then I've got some bacon and sausage. I'm going to do the sausage in the air fryer, which is a new thing we have. I'm super excited to show you guys that. And then the bacon, I'll probably just do in the pan. And then my tomatoes and mushrooms, um, I'll probably do in the pan as well. And then Imogen will have a bit of sausage and a bit of these veggies. I don't know if she's gonna eat it or not with her appetite, but I've got a leftover crumpet. So I've got some sourdough crumpets. I do like sourdough crumpets around Christmas time. It is not keto friendly, it's not even low carb. It's just a lovely treat that I like to enjoy. So before I switch the fan on, I've got bacon in the middle. I've got Imogen's little chopped up tomatoes there. I like mine to be half. And then our mushrooms, I just need to season it. There's already fat in the pan. Dan's constantly cooking bacon in here so i just like to use the pork fat and then in my uh air fryer i've got the sausages on this side and then the crumpet for imaging on that side to use up and then we'll just have a little fry up for breakfast okay so this is my breakfast so obviously like a typical fry up so i've got my eggs i've got sausage i've got the end of imogen sausage bacon tomato mushroom and then imogen's got really similar um she's got Tomatoes, mushroom, she's got the sausage chopped up. She's got half a fried egg. I've got the other half of the fried egg. And then she's got a little bit of crumpet. I ate the other rest of the crumpet because she's not gonna eat it. I don't wanna waste it. And then as a drink, I don't normally have this. Say hello, Imogen. She's got a, yeah, Twilly Woos is on, the program's on. She's got a favorite um, dressing gown on, which is the hey doggy thing over her clothes. Um, I'm gonna have a drink for breakfast i'm gonna have um festive juice which i got for morrison's because it's christmas and it's spiced grape um, and pomegranate and this is really nice for my throat because it's got like cinnamon and it's got um cloves and all these sort of spices in which is which is good for you know when you've got a sore throat and stuff so i'm gonna have this with my breakfast and then i'll show you guys my decorations later and then we'll go from there so imagine didn't eat much of her lunch well, not lunch, sorry, it's breakfast, isn't it? Breakfast. So she had most of the sausage. She moved it around a bit. I don't know if she tried the egg. I think she might have. So she didn't eat much today. I didn't think she would. She's not feeling too good with her cough, but she might want one of these yogurts. So she normally has a yogurt in the morning as well. So these pouches I tend to get because they're good to take on the go. Um, that just from Aldi. Do you want one? She's got toys everywhere and all the Christmas toys, which I'll have to show you because we've got Santa and things around the house. Imogen, do you want this? What's this one? Do you want it? Yeah? They're nice. She likes these yogurts. And then she has like normal yogurts in the fridge as well, but she normally likes them as a dessert after she has food. But what do you think of my little working from home setup, guys? I've got my little, what is it, like a Christmas table set in Gracie's pretending to do some work and then obviously I've got my laptop and stuff Dan bought me some flowers which was really sweet the other week because he's never romantic like that so it's a bit out of the blue to have flowers from him it's snack time who doesn't love snack time if you're a big snacker like I am I love snack time I think about it probably first thing when I wake up <laughs> so I've got mostly savory for snack and I'll show you now so because it's christmas time i have bought one of those cheese selections you can get in any supermarket it's got like an onion marmalade thing in the middle it's okay i tried it but i'm not a big fan um so we've got wensleydale cheese uh just a normal mild cheddar a red leicester 
we've got a Mexican cheese, which I think is like a red Leicester Mexican spices. And then I've got like a chive. I don't know what kind of cheese. It's just like a chive flavored cheese. I don't know if it's like a cheddar or what. Um, and obviously Christmas time, I'm going to have an orange with it because as you know, we do order from Riverford, which is where you probably see, saw this box in the background. So we get deliveries every week from Riverford's Organic Farmers. Um, it's a little bit dearer than paying for normal food from the shop, but you're supporting local and it's organic. So for the price of organic, I think it's really good. So we get that delivered every week. And then I've also got an advent calendar I haven't opened that, well, I have opened, but I'm a bit behind. And this is a keto friendly advent calendar because it's cheese and I got this from Lidl. And you have this big double calendar and then you've obviously got your doors. Oh, I've just realized I got little messages in there. Ah, I've got little jokes in there. Um, I think it's like the, it's the 14th today and I've opened, I don't know how many I've opened, we've got the 4th is there, 2nd, 5th, yeah, I've only got as far as 5 days by the looks of this, I've got quite a few cheeses to eat, so I'm going to get the cheeses out from this and then I'm going to take some from there, put it in my bowl and then that's going to be my first snack today, so I'll just open them up and show you what it looks like in the bowl. Right, there's a lot of cheese here. I don't know if I'm going to have it all, but in my advent calendar, I've got a cheddar, which has got an apple, sage, onion flavour. So that's like a slightly savoury flavour. We've got an applewood cheese, so that'd be nice. Red Leicester, double Gloucester, vintage cheddar, delish. Applewood again, and then we've just got a cheddar cheese. So... I might hold on to these, actually. I might not have these for a snack. I think I'm just going to go for the cubes because they're already opened. I'll put these in the fridge for later, perhaps. Maybe I'll have another cheese snack later. And then obviously have my orange. I will put a link in the description below because I've talked about them twice in a couple of videos. Well, more than twice, actually. I've spoken about them a lot <laughs> in my previous videos. But they are really good. They come to all the festivals, the keto low-carb festivals. Um, and it tastes really good. I really do recommend them. So I've just gone for the Wensleydale cranberry cheese. Obviously my orange from Riverford. And then I've, I've just picked this one from my calendar to try. And it's the um, cheddar apple sage and onion. It just sounds really interesting. So I'm going to have that one as a snack. And then Imogen's not going to have a snack because she's tired. She's going to have a nap soon. Blue thinks he's having my cheese because he's a little fatty. But I'll show you guys my decorations. So we have a tree. We also have a toddler creating mess everywhere. She's just talking the decorations there. So we put our tree up. As you know, we've had loads of issues with our house. Um, the work is now being commenced in the new year because obviously we don't want to be living in a hotel over Christmas. It's going to be so rubbish. So we did our Christmas tree. We don't like to use the old stuff like the tinsel. We like to use the beading and everything and, you know, all the typical things you're going to find on a tree. And then we've got our little Imogen on the top. She made that nursery. So cute. And she made this one as well. And then my mum found a little Imogen uh, decoration for the tree and then another one with the eye on. And then we don't really have anything in the windows. We've, I've literally bought two little snowflakes the other day. So one on that side, one on that side. And then we have our little presents and things. Dan tends to do the high up stuff because I can't reach. So it's meant to say Merry Christmas, but all the baubles and things have turned around. And then he put that one up as well, which is from his nan or great nan, I can't remember. And it's just really old decoration we like to keep in the family. And obviously we've got loads of Santa Claus decorations. We've got stars. Imogen made that in nursery as well. I guess it's meant to be a melted snowman. <laughs> Um, and little like baubles and stuff, not baubles, you know, the little shaker things, you shake them up and then it's like it's snowing. Snow globe, that's the one, snow globe. And then again, Imogen made this at nursery, it's a little reindeer face with a red nose. And then we got our snowman again, we got Santa Claus on the floor, we've got a mix of toys, she's been playing with stuff, but we've got a Santa Claus there, she loves playing with that reindeer because he sings and spins around. And then we've got stockings on the wall. We used to have lights up there or whatever it was, but we took those down. We do have lights on the beam here, but they don't really work, so I need to replace those. And then obviously we've got Christmassy stuff on here. Oh, that's my door. So we've got snowflakes here. Behind there's Imogen's little Halloween drawing she did for us at nursery. 
And then we got stuff on this wall. And then stuff on that wall. That lights up at night time, looks really nice. And then I've already shown you the table. So I've got bits on the table that looks a bit Christmassy. Blue's food is just delivered with pets at home. And she's trying to open it. <laughs> and then this year I did get stuff for the door. We have got a little calendar from Imogen. That's not really Christmassy, but it's nice, me, Dan and Imogen. And then this is what we got in our front door for Christmas. Oh, but how if I grab the keys? So we've got the bells. Jingle, jingle. And they got some Christmas plants. With the star, they're from B&M's as well, chuff for those. We've got Santa Claus and a snowman. Okay, so it's lunchtime. I'm gonna chop up some broccoli to boil and we're going to have some kale. Um, again, it's all the organic stuff from Riverford because that's what we have for fruit and veg in the house and salad. So me and Image are gonna, gonna have the same today. So we're gonna have some nice green vegetables and then I'm going to roast a lovely butternut squash, which has come again from Riverford. I'm gonna halve it. I'm gonna put some butter, salt and pepper on there. That's how I love to eat it. Roast it for an hour in the air fryer. Might take less than an hour though. And then we're gonna have these. So Christmas food, again, breaded chicken pretzel dippers. It comes with a really sickly sauce, but we're not gonna eat the sauce and that's gonna be in the air fryer. And that's what we're gonna have for our lunch today. Dinner is done. Look how beautiful that squash looks and crisp. So that's lunch today. I've taken a chunk of my butternut squash out for Imogen. So it's like a little low carb mash. And then she's got exactly the same, just small portion. And then I put some mayonnaise in here, but she's fallen asleep now. So I keep this by for her in the microwave. Then when she wakes up, she can have her lunch. And then you can see what the same. So I'm gonna have some mayonnaise over my veg. And then this would be a nice low carb lunch. That's sort of festive with the squash and um, the little Christmas pretzel chicken. Okay, so it's tea time now. Imogen had her lunch when she woke up. But fortunately, she didn't eat much of it. She only had a little bit of chicken. So this is her attempt at dinner. And she obviously loves mayonnaise and any kind of dip, so she's had those. And um, for tea, we are gonna have a beef casserole. So I put everything in last night, um, let it cook overnight. So I've basically put in there all the leftover vegetables before our next delivery came, because every Monday we get a vegetable delivery. So I've got in here carrots, cauliflower, obviously beef. I've got the cauliflower leaves because I don't like to waste anything on vegetables. I've got courgettes, which is a bit of an odd one, I know, but I needed to use some up, so that's gone in the casserole. And I had leeks in here, so I used leeks instead of onions because they were going a bit dry. And then I've put in some spices and things, and then I was a little bit lazy and went and bought a beef stock as well when I went and got my beef. So that's been cooking all together. Um, it's very low carb. We're gonna have that. Dan's gonna have Yorkshire puddings, which I've already got in the slow cooker. I've got cooking now. I don't really want anything with it. I'm just gonna have it as it is. I've just worked out. So I'm supposed to really have a high carb thing um, <clears throat> after a workout. But I'm thinking, I haven't had my second snack of the day because when you do the body coat trap, you have two snacks and three meals for the day to keep you obviously fueled for weight training and hit training and everything. Plus with breastfeeding as well, I have sort of extra calorie allowance as it were. Not that they count calories, but it, it just adds more, I think, protein and things on. But for my snack, my second snack of the day, I'm gonna keep as a dessert and I'm gonna be really naughty and have some, a little bit of chocolate tonight and have probably some biscuits. That's just something I've been thinking about. So I'm better if I allow myself those than if I restrict because then I just tend to binge. And it's a cycle I've done many years of my life. So that's what I'm gonna have for the rest of today. And obviously I'm not working now, I clocked off a while ago. So I can just enjoy the evening with my chocolates later. So this is my tea. So I've just had casserole. And then I've put some vitamin D drops on top, which I normally do winter time. Um, just to keep my vitamin D really, because there's obviously no sun around with, uh, with the winter time. And I'm gonna have this, and then I'll show you what naughty snacks I'm gonna have after as my treat. Tea was really filling, but I still have a bit of Toblerone left in me. So you can have some of this. So a Christmas treat, because I never ever have Toblerone, but because it's Christmas time, have a piece of this. And then going to bed. 
and then I will show you guys what I'm gonna have for breakfast tomorrow morning. So for breakfast today, it's gonna to be really simple and quick because on Thursdays, we like to go to a play group at the top of the road and Imogen will normally have toast, a yogurt and a biscuit there because that's what they provide with the entry fee. So I don't really like to give them much. So I do have these things in stock. They're basically like porridge and yogurt and like fruit purees all mixed together for Maldi. So I'll see if she'll have some of this breakfast pouch just to keep it topped up until we go in an hour. And then I normally end up rushing and making last decision breakfast choices before the playgroup. So I found this in my drawer. It was from one of the Crave kits. So this is also keto friendly. Imogen's looking at me like, why are you feeding me? Um, and this is by Purition. It's a cocoa flavor. So you're meant to just mix it in as like a smoothie. So I'm gonna have a smoothie. And I always have all my milk regardless of whether I'm being low carb, low, um, high carb or treating myself. I always have all my milk. I've always liked it for years. I'm not really a big fan of drinking cow's milk. So I'll whiz it up and show you what it looks like. So this is my smoothie. It smells super chocolatey and I can smell all of the nuts and all the kind of fibrous stuff they put in there. Like linseed and those sort of things. So just looks like a normal chocolate milkshake, doesn't it? Imogen didn't have much of her food pouch. She only had like a little tiny bit, which is fine because she's going to have food when we go to the play group later. So uh, that's what we're going to have for breakfast. We're not going to be having snacks because we're going to play group. And then when I come back, I'll probably do my lunch um, and I might have a snack whilst I'm waiting. So I'll show you guys what that's going to be when we come back. So just come back from play group. Imogen had um, toast and yogurt as she normally does because it's, it's included in the price there. And then her snack today was biscuits. So we're giving up biscuits today because it's quite quiet. That's flop, we've got a toy. Imogen's got her toys out. Um, so my snack um, coming home, I'm gonna have the same as yesterday because I just think it's such a lovely Christmassy snack, or reminds me of a Christmassy snack, which is cheese and fruit. So I'm having an orange again, which I've got here. And then I've got my cheeses here as well. So the ones from the advent calendar. So I've got all sorts of cheese here. I've got just a normal cheddar. I've got a vintage applewood. Um, there's just normal applewood. I've got red Leicester <coughs> and double Gloucester. I've got all sorts of cheeses in here. I'm a bit behind on my advent calendar, so that's why I've got all of these cheeses. But yeah, all the same sort of stuff. So I'm going to open them and have them with my orange. And then I'll show you guys what I'm going to have for lunch today. So for lunchtime, we're having leftovers from yesterday's tea. So it's the beef casserole. This is obviously Imogen's. She's going to have some bread and butter on the side. I just need to heat it up. I'm having the same except for bread and butter. I'm going to have this delicious banana squash instead of bread and butter, which is almost done. I've got another 20 minutes left on it. And that's what we're going to have for our lunch today. So this is my work lunch today. Looks super yummy. So tea time. We're having a bit of a fake away. So we're doing like a Christmas mini nibbles thing for tea, so it's gonna be a nice treat after working out. I did get a little bit distracted at Morrison's today with some more plants. <laughs> and this one I've been dying to get for ages. It's so expensive to get a cut in online, the Monstera plant, so we good. So this is our tea. We've got mini pizzas, hot dogs. I'm not very good at decorating with the sauce and then like the little burgers. And then I'll probably have, I don't know what I'm going to have for a snack yet, but my second snack of the day is probably going to be some kind of dessert thing again. So me, Dan and Imogen are going to have this and have a, share it and watch some Christmas stuff. So we just had tea and my last snack of the day was a bit naughty. It was some chocolates and um, a little sweetie thing. So Christmas stuff again. So we had some munchies, so the Christmas tubes you get. Pastels, Rolos. Obviously, we only had a bit of each. We had some Smarties as well. Dan likes white chocolate, so he's had Milky Bar and he's got some white Smarties. I think they're gross, but he loves them. And then Imogen had some as well. So, obviously, I wouldn't normally like this. This is just obviously a treat that we've had today because we've really fancied something sort of like a fake way I suppose what we've had for tea instead of ordering pizza and you know doing burgers and stuff and also it was the Christmas festive bike stuff that you get from Aldi and whatever supermarket you shop at so 
that's the end of the video of what I've eaten whilst working from home during Christmas period. So predominantly I do eat low carb, I just can't tolerate eating high carb. But this is realistic for how I'd eat in the holiday. So I just wanted to show you guys what I've had. Um, it's nothing, you know, super adventurous that I've had and just a bit of comfort food, uh, winter food with the cold weather as we have had snow here in Wales. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a realistic view of what, you know, a lot of people are eating, particularly if they are low carb, they're not consistently low carb, they still have treats, they still, you know, enjoy the holidays and things. Because I know sometimes you see some YouTube videos and it probably isn't realistic of what they're eating all the time and how they're eating. But when obviously it's not holidays, I do predominantly eat low carb and then I have a high carb meal after I've worked out. So I only have these sort of treats after I've worked out. So until then guys, I will see you in the next video.